Hello there, Leo. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Leo placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch your roles. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys so much for the love, the support, the donations. Sending you a lot of love and light and happiness on your journey. Okay, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media platforms okay so let's tap in leo let's see what's going on man the reasons today are wild but funny okay i've been having a good ass time so let's see what's coming on for you <laughs> okay spirit guys angels ancestors ascended masters gods and goddesses please return any spell work any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones me and my loved ones are turning back to the sender block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Leo Collective. And protect me as I channel the messages for Leo. So let's see, Leo. I'm doing these readings late as hell today. I'm not doing that shit again. 111 on the timer. <laughs> okay. I've been a little bit I've been a little bit lazy today, but period. Oh, so look at the first card that came out. Hmm. I put a spell on you. <laughs> Okay, number 60, put a spell on you. Charm, seduction, being one over. Somebody could be trying to do some spell work on you. Okay, definitely could be a wizard or a warlock. This is a man. Okay, it's giving me Merlin. So, Virgo energy. Somebody could be a Virgo. Okay, child, what the hell? <laughs> so, somebody, that's the first card that came out, Leo. So, let's see, child, what's happening. We got remnants of Atlantis. Ooh, the past resurfacing, past lives, and karma. So this is a past life situation. This is what somebody did to you in a past life. Okay, it's coming back up for a reason. It has a lot to do with your purpose. You clearing out this karmic debt is going to push you into your purpose. So this is somebody here that you just need to look at as a catalyst for your growth. Okay, that's all that they are. Some of you guys are into magic, okay? This, you could be high priestesses, high priest, man or woman. 79, so it says hindsight. Lesson learned, realization and discernment. So yeah, you could be learning a lesson here. You've learned a lesson. I feel like it's a wisdom here and caution. So I feel like you, she's on this side and wisdom is pointing that way. So to regardless of how you feel or what you've been through, I feel like you made it on the other side because you didn't go backwards. You knew backwards was going to be a mess, okay? Spirit warned your ass not to go back there. Now, if you went back there, I don't know. It's just a lesson, okay? Honestly, when it comes down to life and things like that, no, there is no wrong way, okay? You all, you learn a lesson from it all. So if you look at it that way, then boom. But don't be stupid, though. Use, use your head. <laughs> don't be dumb. 313 on the timer. So um, you could be actually kind of like wanting to take a rest here. Yeah, there's money. I even see all that money right there. So you're on a side. You're on the winning team here. Your wealth is looking good or whatever the hell. So um, you could be kind of like tired, you know, just kind of like weary. Or Weary is not the word, maybe. You could be just needing to... Uh, this is a regeneration period for you. You can be needing to be revitalized or you're needing to just integrate the lessons that you've learned. So maybe taking a taking time out to yourself. Okay. I'm getting, I see clouds down here. So it's cloudy back there. It's cloudy going forward, right? So you could be trying to make a decision on if you should go forward or go backwards. Okay. Somebody is trying to put a spell on you. They're trying to make you go backwards. So I feel like with you going forward, you are pushing through something. You're persevering through some sort of rough patch because things could be cloudy. You don't really see the way forward. You don't see how things will work out. But you know that your wisdom is, your spirit team is telling you to go this way. Okay, not backwards because ain't nothing back there. You know that. So even though you're tired, I feel like you're still going to move forward. You know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel here. You're using your discernment for sure. Even though you're tired, you're persevering through something. So let's see. Yeah, wounded healer. Exactly. Exactly. What's, let's see what else, Spirit. Hmm, very, very interesting. I like these cards. So 
we got number 68. It's, it's uh, say fantasy, imagination, conception, and daydreams. Oh, you conceiving something, child? What you conceiving? A baby. Look at the baby. Don't babies ride these little, what you call it? The Ferris wheel. Not the Ferris wheel. The, what you call them horses? Start with a C. The horses that go slow and up and down around a little carousel. I think that's what it's called. So some of y'all could be pregnant. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> Congratulations. Look at the carousel again, child. Look, at, that's what they call them. I didn't even know they was right here. They're coming out again. So something about an amusement park or it's like you're really fat. You're, you're, I feel like you're manifesting. Okay. You're manifesting a lot of things, but it's things that you're dreaming about. You want, but it's just taking you a while to get there. Okay. Number 68. Then we got number five, round and round. Scatteredness, scatteredness, aimlessness, and repetition. Yeah. Like. Somebody is trying to cause a heavy illusion, child. They try to cause an illusion. Okay, some of y'all could have conceived. Maybe you don't know it yet or something like that. Some of y'all are trying to conceive, but somebody is doing some sort of spell work to block you. Uh, they could be trying to bind you to them so that way you won't be able to. So that's what moon magic again. 7.07 .07 on the clock. The karmic scales. Justice, atonement, karmic balancing. Yeah, so... Keeping secrets, confidentiality, privacy, concealment, miracle. Child, I'm telling you, for some of you guys, you done manifested you a miracle. You don't see it going forward, but it's here. Miracle, healing, answer, prayers, and remission. Okay. You could be dealing with a Libra. And whatever you manifesting is protected, it's concealed. Give me a second, okay? Leo, hold on. My bad, I had to get my son the phone. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Oh, this is at the bottom. Let me put this back here. So let's see, guys. <laughs> Very interesting. Hold on, Leo. Let me see something. Let me check this real quick. My son probably gonna get live, but he's gonna start playing this game. So excuse me. All right, so let's see. What does this put a spell on your car here for Leo? I put a spell on you. Who sang that song? Ten of Wands. So it looks like your spell is backfiring or I don't know. <laughs> well, let's see. What's this put a spell on you? The Hierophant. Taurus. So this is some sort of priest. Ace of Swords. Okay. Yeah, the Will of Fortune and the damn Seven of Wands. Something is protected, concealed, bitch. Ain't no spell. <laughs> Your spell is trash. Okay, we got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, I feel like you have clear thinking. There's some sort of breakthrough here. This could be like a breakthrough and a commitment. So, somebody is doing some sort of spell to win you back or whatever. Seduce you. They want you to come backwards. It's not working. Somebody could even be consulting a group. So, this could be like a coven, a cult, whatever. The same shit coming up all the time, Leo. You know, who this, this, this coven and this cult is on your ass, okay? Just period. They, they keep coming up, so. But this could talk about you being in a connection here. Like, you're in a covenant. You're in a sacred connection. You are conforming to what spirit is telling your ass to do. I feel like you have clear thinking, some of you guys, you could be teachers, leaders. You could actually be with a high priest. I don't I don't think it's a bad one, though, obviously. 
you can have another high priest or somebody that's a warlock that calls themselves a wizard a wizard and a warlock i just feel like they're two different people warlocks are kind of dark or they are dark very demonic wizards are just like high priestesses high priests they are healers you know what i'm saying they teach people uh they have this wisdom and this power but they don't abuse their power but i feel like you could be possibly with a high priest or you found your person you found your counterpart this is deep here it's giving me a scene from a past life like some old timey shit popping up in my head <laughs> so i feel like it's like an aha moment a breakthrough clarity the truth this could be the truth about a group or it's like, aha, I found the one. This is my person. What's the hierophant? Yeah, three of pentacles in reverse. Something not working on this connection because it's covered by spirit. And like, this is not the connection you want to do spell work on, bitch. It's not this one. Yeah, the king of pentacles, two of cups. King of cups, the moon. I feel like that king of cups is coming out as a spirit guy. Oh, your person. If this is your person, honey. They got their spirit team on this person's ass. Whether this person knows it or not, they're protecting the hell out of you. Yeah, you come with your own protection, but baby, listen. <laughs> this person here, plus their protection, that's like powerful. But what's the higher from the three of pentacles in reverse? Is somebody here, some sort of plan failed, some sort of mission failed, whatever. Yeah, six of wands, three of pentacles, a group of people doing some shit. Okay, it failed. It's blocked. Some of you guys could be seen in the public eye or you're making something known, okay? It's like, bitch, it's me. I'm here. I'm the one you want to take out. Hello. Your shit is not working. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. <laughs> like, okay. The fuck? So I feel like you got some sort of victory with the Six of Wands. Leo, Jupiter. I mean, yeah, Leo, Jupiter. Capricorn, Mars is here. Somebody here lazy. They do nasty work. Lazy ass work. It's mediocre. Somebody ain't got no goals, no work ethic. They just sit around and do magic all day. You're the devil. <laughs> the devil. It's like, child, get the fuck out of here. Um, What's the ace of swords, child? So these people, I, you know, I feel like you're coming out victorious and successful, but these people, I don't know what they feel like. They want something. I don't get it. What's the ace of swords? How the fuck you lose, but you still feel like you want some shit? I feel like that's you. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Let's say Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be seen in the public eye as a reader. Six of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Or you um, you do some sort of divination practices yourself. That's what I'm saying. You can either be a, a wizard or a high priest. A high priest or a high priestess. One or the other. I feel like you could have some sort of good news about some money coming through. This is a raise or promotion. Page of Pentacles talks about some sort of plan and strategy too, but this is like earth magic or something like that. So maybe you've done something. Let's see. What's the Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles? Or oh, this is damn offer coming through of stability, security, marriage. Okay, yeah. Three of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Aries, Sun. I feel like you can see through somebody's plans. Page of Pentacles with the Three of Wands and the Queen of Cups. I feel like you are going through some sort of psychic upgrade, like an ascension. It feels like it. it's a lot of clarity and truth coming in here about your relationship and also the people around you that are dark or whatever. So this Three of Wands definitely talks about having a sense of foresight, um, growth, expansion, definitely feeling self-assured. I feel like this is you planning for your future. You got future plans. I feel like you're jumping in at some sort of opportunity or you did and it's, it's worth it. You see that it's worth it. You have clarity about where you're at, what you're doing. Okay, your psyche is clear. Your creativity is like bursting through. It's like you could be getting ready to create something as well. Spirit could be telling you to like work with herbs, do study apothecary or something like that. You could be the reader here to speaking the truth or whatever the hell this is, but something. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, Page of Swords. I feel like somebody here watching you speak the truth. <laughs> you could definitely be a psychic, a healer, for sure. You could be doing some sort of like um natural healing thing, using herbs and things. Herbs is very specific. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's something here that's good. There's something coming in, I feel like. More clarity, more truth. And I feel like there's something good. It's a breakthrough. It's a breakthrough. So let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Some of y'all have a really bright idea, like a really good idea. You're focused on something. This could be somebody here doing like spell work. Some of y'all are doing like magic. It's it's working. <laughs> if you're doing like magic to block something out. Because whatever somebody else doing is weak as fuck. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody ain't learned from shit. They ain't, they. I feel like whoever this is is a, is a, uh, a baby witch or they, they practicing something. They trying to do something on their own. Bitch, it's not working. It's not working. I don't know. But let's see. <laughs> For some of you, yeah, the devil, the two of Pentacles. Yeah, no. <laughs> and the King of Cups, the Moon, the Ten of Swords. Oh, they just not as powerful as you. I don't give a fuck if this is an occultist of 20 years, bitch. Whatever they say that you got going on, however you're being covered, honey. Can't nobody take away your protection or stop you from being cloaked or any of that. You're protected. And I feel like you can see into what somebody's doing or somebody's trying to see into what you're doing, where your heart is, who you're giving your heart to, your time to. And three of cups to lovers, it looks like you with somebody. <laughs> you with somebody? So, okay, what's hindsight? Lesson learned, realization, discernment. The star. Yeah, somebody's coming to the realization that, bitch, I'm the star. You are not that. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> okay, what's hindsight with the star? Somebody here, damn, I just put that Mom, card up there. Yes. Is I going to get my black iPad back? Yes, I'm going to get it. Okay. What's hindsight with the star? Aquarius, yeah, the lovers in reverse. <laughs> Damn, they naked as hell. Um, yeah, the sun and the ten of swords and the queen of swords. This bitch right here, this damn Queen of Swords child, I'm so sick of this person. They just coming out in every reading as a demonic ass little bitch. The Moon, the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. Somebody here is like, now this Queen of Swords could be you. You could be speaking the truth and nothing but the truth. Okay, whatever you're saying is true. You could be getting paid for speaking the truth. You could be a reader or whatever, but I don't know. I don't know, child. Somebody here really, they do too much. Covers in reverse with the star upright. That's how it was. So, somebody here like wishing for a connection to be broke or for there to be imbalance. Okay. Could be an Aquarius, a Gemini. The lovers in reverse is discord this harmony it's like somebody wishing for this shit to happen that's what i'm saying i, I don't i don't know let's see i gotta cover these cards real quick though what's this star here some of y'all are definitely inspirational and motivational you could definitely be a healer very very spiritual reading the 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 ten of cups your wishes are coming true whatever this is whether it be family you know, children, marriage. This is like peace and inner harmony here. Happiness, joy. Your manifestation has come in. If, you, if you're if you wanting a baby or something, manifesting a baby, it's coming. A family, marriage, just, just simply peace and getting closer to spirit. I feel like that's coming too. Like, I don't know. It's like something here, whatever somebody wished for, they wish for the right thing, but in the wrong situation. Because I feel like the connections that need to be broken have been broken. It like backfired, some sort of spell or did like it backfired. And the connection that needs to be in your life is the one that you're manifesting with or about right now. Like you're wishing for right now, you found it. So, uh, you know, Ten of Cups with the star. Yeah, I feel like this is a positive turnaround in the situation. A positive outcome. Just keep faith. Okay, something about your faith. What's the lovers in reverse? <clears throat> yeah, the judgment in reverse. Yeah, this is like false gossip, false accusations. There's disharmony with a relationship in your life. I don't feel like it's with your person. I feel like it's with somebody else that's sitting up here involved in this spell work. Okay, 
the judgment in reverse is a false something is false here Somebody not learning their karmic lessons. I feel like the connection that need to be severed is the one that need to be severed. And the one that's coming in is the one you need to be in. That you're going to be in. Somebody here, they stupid. <laughs> I don't know if they thought you was dumb or what. They thought the spill was going to lead you back somewhere or what they thought. But no. What's the lovers in reverse with the judgment in reverse? It's like somebody here. Yeah, the, the, the hermit in reverse. Could be a Virgo, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. It's like... So this is like paranoia. Somebody is scared. They Somebody's continuing to not do the inner work. They don't want to do the inner work. They want to instead falsely accuse your shit and gossip about you and make the wrong decisions in their life. This could be their connection. There's no balance here. Somebody here, I don't know if they was tricked, bamboozled, but they, I feel like they try to do a love spell on you or do something to you here to win you back over. And I feel like the shit that they got themselves into is where they stuck at. They This is what they want. They didn't win you. They got something else. <laughs> They got set up. Okay, just period. Yeah, because this is you moving on. I feel like you're getting ready to celebrate and some more shit. Like, what the fuck? So everything went exactly how it's supposed to go, if you look at it. Exactly how it's supposed to go. <laughs> exactly. You don't want to be with this person no way. They don't do no work. They just sit up here and try to, like, do spells on people to get them back. And then they probably get mad and do nasty work on people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, spell work to make somebody, uh, to block somebody's free will choice, especially when they didn't do shit to you. That's the key. It's all about your intentions. That's why magic is not bad. It's neither good nor bad. It's about the person that's doing it. So if your intention is to hurt somebody and when they ain't did shit to you and you know that they, they a really good person, but you, you want them back so bad that you just can't control your fucking emotions in your mind that you're going to do spell work on somebody, then just understand that you're going to get the shit is going to backfire automatically like it might not be at the time that you think but it's going to happen just like it's happening right now like somebody here lacks self-awareness completely they can't even see that they in something distorted yeah the the devil the justice and the eight of swords eight of pentacles you guys will be seeing eight 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 somebody here don't even see that they in something crazy something backfired on their ass uh, like that's what they get it was fantasy <laughs> what's fantasy if at first you don't succeed <laughs> you can dust it off and try again i don't know why i just heard that song yeah justice <laughs> libra energy what's fantasy with justice the center wands yeah somebody here burden as hell for trying to crush your dreams or trying to imagine you falling apart like that or doing spell work on you to try to get you back, whatever this is. Knowing, I feel like in order for that shit to work, somebody really got to be in love with your ass, bitch. You're not in love with this person. <laughs> I feel like you're a nice person. You're kind, you're caring, your heart is open. I feel like you're you're so kind, you're willing to receive an apology and a, and a real one, one with changed behavior. That's why you don't give a fuck about this person. It's just like, yeah, I'm cool off you. I'm not going to be a bitch, though. Like, I'm not going to ruin my opportunities by treating you like shit. I'm going to just ignore your dumb ass. I feel like that's what you did. <laughs> a child, please. But Libra energy. So this is balance here. Karmic justice. Karma is fucking balanced. Everything's balanced out at this point. Or it's, get, it's it being balanced. The shit is going on in the present. Everybody getting their karma. They getting some bad judgment here. For sure. For sure. Ten of Wands, it's like you releasing, you letting go. This this is karmic skills, balancing. Yeah, it's this. Justice, atonement, karmic balancing. And that card there about your past life, something is balanced now. What's the uh, justice? Whatever was weighing you down, the baggage, the dead weight. You guys will be saying 10-10. 3, 3, 3. Yeah, Knight of Cups. What's justice with the Knight of Cups? So, good news here. I feel like, um, yep. Yeah. Child, I'm telling you, the Empress. Ooh, y'all could be pregnant. It's a conception. I don't know. The moon, the ten of swords. Yeah, this was somebody here trying to stop from happening. Taurus, Libra. We got Pisces here with the Knight of Cups. So I feel like you have some sort of good news here. This could be you guys just simply getting ready to create something. Your um, this could be like a spiritual upgrade. Definitely for sure. You're you're going from what the Queen of Cups to the Empress. This is why you're being blessed because you've been nice the whole way through. You ain't been a bitch at all. You just let this shit play out. You trust God. Your faith is strong as fuck. 
is strong. Somebody here can't tear you apart or do anything to your ass. <laughs> like, but this is really good news here. I feel like you could be dating somebody here that wants to make you their empress. This could be a date, romantic gesture, okay? I feel like you followed your heart and now you're now the empress because you have a masculine here that's gonna make you the empress, okay? Like you're already empress on your own, but I'm saying like every divine feminine needs them a real a real man, okay? Or woman or whatever, if you're a man as a divine feminine, because you could be that just in more feminine energy. I feel like you're open to receiving. Your blessings are coming through. Whatever you dreamed about, whatever you thought was a fantasy or or too far to get, too far gone in, in life to get or whatever, I feel like this is a perfect timing. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. The Empress is somebody, what, 30 to... Somebody could be 30 to, what, is it 45? Is it that old? Or 30 to 35 or... 25 to 35. No, that's like the Knight of Cups. The Empress is 30 to something. 30 to 40 or 30 to 45. I don't know. But bitch, you the perfect time is for something. Okay, period. What's the Ten of Wands? What's the Ten of Wands? Perfect time for you to create. Perfect time for you to receive your blessings. Whatever. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. Mm. Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands here, a lot of fire, a lot of Sagittarius, strong Sagittarius. I'm doing Sagittarius after this. We got Sag, Moon, Sag, Mercury, Sag, Saturn. You can have a Sag, a lot of Sag in your chart, Leo. Your North Node could be in Sagittarius. Child, somebody, Nine of Wands with the Eight of Wands. I feel like this is you. Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, really, really um, persevering and showing resilience moving forward in your journey. I feel like you, you're moving in a positive direction. Somebody here can't take what they dish out, though. It's like they getting hit with all this shit and they trying to withstand it. Bitch, you about to be in a Ten of Wands, tired as fuck, way down. Somebody here could be sick or something. I don't know, but karma is striking and I feel like you're sending, sending it out. <laughs> You have rights. You have respect in the spiritual realm. You have high ranking. You can send some ass whoopings out. I feel like it's about that damn time for y'all to fight back any motherfucking way. Okay? Because all these attacks is ridiculous. It's time to get back what the fuck you give. So if you give it out, you can't be sad or upset when it comes back, bitch. Take it just like how we took it. Just like how we fought and you wanted to see us looking crazy. You take it. <laughs> it's yours to take. The fuck? Somebody here, they don't... They, they can't take what they dish out. It's sad. It's like, bitch, well, that means your ass need to stop doing what the fuck you're doing now, don't it? <laughs> stop doing what you're doing. The 10% of high priestess, yes, somebody is highly protected. Highly. And now these people over here fighting. Five of wands, three of swords, and the king of wands. <laughs> no. I feel like you fought back here. Somebody here is getting exactly what they did to you. Anyways, it's round and round. This reading went straight to the point. It wasn't even that long. Thank God. Yeah, Ten of Swords in reverse. So some sort of like a curse or hex is over for you. I feel like you overcame some sort of obstacles or whatever somebody tried to send at you. It, it failed, bitch. It failed. And I feel like it's going back. We're round and round, number five. So that's conflict. Round and round, scatteredness, aimlessness, and re repetition. The Ten of Swords in reverse could represent like the worst yet to come for somebody. They keep going round and round in circles, repeating the same shit. They're, aim they're aimless. They don't know where they're going. They don't have a sense of direction. They don't know what's, what's hitting their ass. What's round and round with the Ten of Swords in reverse? Something bouncing right off you and going to their stupid ass. Yeah, the tower child, somebody is... Living in a mess. <laughs> Aries, Scorpio. <laughs> Child. What's the set of swords in reverse? The temperance in reverse. Yeah, just all out of whack. Imbalanced. <laughs> Imbalanced here. Somebody here could have been trying to antagonize you, bully your ass. And I feel like it's going right back on their ass. 
that's what the fuck they get, man. They can't even take it either. This person don't know what to do. Whoever this is, they barely came out in this reading. Barely, did any, if any at all. <laughs> it's just your energy here, Leo, is what I feel. So something here is in balance. There's disharmony, discord. It's a mess. It's a mess. What's to, the Ten of Swords in reverse, Temperance in reverse? Definitely Sagittarius. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Somebody here is in and out, back and forth. They don't know what to do. Strong Saggy. I can't wait to do Sagittarius. A lot of Sag coming out in this read. <laughs> okay. Mm, mm, mm. Pathetic. I feel like this is you, Knight of Wands. You didn't set yourself free. You didn't have the confidence and the courage to break free or something. And you moving forward. You're like, you're not about to have me here. Yeah, Ten of Cups. I mean, Three of Cups in the, in the sun. It's like, yeah, you're not finna have me stuck, bitch. No. <laughs> Absolutely the fuck not. Somebody here could be unstable too. Like they're experiencing instability. Somebody could be outside a lot. Or somebody is homeless. Okay, somebody don't know what to do with themselves. They're really childish. What's the tower? Okay, bitch. Well, this reading, yeah, Ten of Pentacles, child. You got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Okay, you could be, yeah. Let me see. What's the tower with the Ten of Pentacles? I feel like there's an active spell going on right now or a ritual, whatever. So this is not working how they planned. <laughs> What's the ten of pentacles, the tower? Six of pentacles in reverse. <laughs> the tower is, it's you getting this ten of pentacles. It's yours. It's, can't nobody take it. It's upright. There's stability. There's security. Okay. And there could be something coming out about a family. But baby, the Six of Pentacles in reverse is like people trying to kiss ass and make up. Because this is what you're getting. Wealth, prosperity, abundance, a marriage, family. Everything that you wish for, you're getting literally. And if they try to steal it, you're getting it back. You're getting it back in blood. Okay. You're definitely getting it back in blood. Spirit is whooping somebody's ass bad. All of them. Because I feel like it's multiple people. Taurus, Moon, Virgo, Mercury. Yeah, so now people trying to make up kiss ass, you know, because everything is scattered all over the place. And bitches going to keep happening until you get this lesson. If you don't get it, then just keep preparing to get your ass beat. Every every time. Every time you decided to do this spell or do these rituals, every moon cycle you decided to do it, just know every moon cycle come around, you're going to get your ass whooped. <laughs> every cycle. The wanding moon, the cre whatever, all of it. The last moon, the full moon, the new moon, all the moons. <laughs> you get your ass beat the whole cycle all the way through. So, okay. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say. Let's see. Yeah, the devil, the two of pentacles. Somebody ain't got... They, they they just... They all over the place. I don't even know what to say. The devil done got... Somebody here and just... They just stupid as hell. Mm. Child. Somebody don't even see that they being attacked. Like, the attack is coming for that ass. It's... it's the Eight of Swords, the binding spell, the magic that they did, they don't even see it. Their back is turned. This person getting ready to get their ass beat or they giving their ass beat right now. Ooh, child. <laughs> you hoes are lost in the sauce, ain't you? Getting that ass beat. You getting that ass tapped, ain't you? Let's see. We'll come out because... This reading was really, really calm. <laughs> I guess it's not a whole bunch to say. Like, it's real straight to the point. Real straight to the point. <laughs> this, this shit going right off you. The Emperor, Nine of Cups, the Empress, the Eight of Wands. <laughs> so we got somebody in the Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. They stress the hell out. They can't even take what they dished out. That's what's crazy to me, bitch. How the fuck you going to not take what you going to dish out? It's like you supposed to fucking... Stand on the shit that you do and say. How the fuck you gonna go to war with somebody, wage spiritual warfare with somebody, or war in real life, and then you can't fucking take it? You can't take the ass whooping? That's crazy to me. I don't know. Seems a little bit off kilter, but you know. You bitches, y'all never make sense anyway coming up in my readings. That's why I talk shit about you. You could be dealing with a Pisces. <laughs> okay, maybe go watch Pisces reading. Go watch all of them, though. I would advise you to watch every reading, to be honest. Don't just watch your sun sign. You're missing so much information by just watching a sun sign reading. No. <laughs> Not what I advise. Let's see. 
Yeah, burning through money, set up. Yeah, someone being set up, I told you. Somebody got set up. That's what it feel like. When this person's scared, they don't know what to do. They don't know how to handle it. Everything falling the fuck apart. Because somebody got scammed. Somebody got scammed by their family. And this is what's coming out. This was coming out. This is why they feel so scattered all over the fucking place. Whoever this is. Because their family set scammed their ass. While they living a good life, this person is out here broke as fuck. Ungrounded. They ain't got shit going on here. And they family shit falling apart too. <laughs> if they, they was in on it, they, they shit falling apart. Yeah, emotional abuse in reverse. So you overcame some sort of emotional abuse. Okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. I, I put something in Capricorn's reading about this, about my own story. So if you're interested, you can go watch Cappy. It goes with the reading though. Yeah, you could be a tarot reader that was taken for granted. Period. What's, what's child? What else? So emotional abuse in reverse. Prideful person. Black magic. Someone's doing black magic. Okay. So what's, what's the black magic for? Trust in the universe. Yeah, that's all you did was trust the universe. Like I said, you didn't even fight fire with fire. You didn't fight fire with fire. I feel like you do shit to protect yourself. Rightfully so. You ain't gonna let anybody keep attacking you. But honey, when this shit all started, I bet you you wasn't doing shit to protect yourself at first. Like in the spirit, you were just moving forward. I'm gonna just let God handle it. <laughs> That's all you do. It, yeah, surprised by my strength. You you, you powerful as fuck, Leo. You have made it through. Yeah, divine feminine, period. Period. Somebody here is surprised by your fucking strength because this black magic probably strong as a, as a bitch. It's not hitting you at all. Yeah, you different. <laughs> They're like, she got extraterrestrial strength. Something, something going on with this divine feminine. Yeah. You need to leave her the fuck alone. Leave her alone. <laughs> Stop bothering her. Leave her the fuck alone or him alone, bitch. Okay, what else? I need to write something down. My son got my other phone. Let me see if I forget. I don't like forgetting things. I usually put my notes in my other phone, but I don't want to forget what, what I'm thinking about. <clears throat> so I can put it in my title. But so we got a yeah, emotional baggage, half truths. They're not being fully honest. Yeah, there's somebody that's lying to your face about some shit. They in between worlds. They need to choose a side. Yeah, and fake news. This person here, whoever this is with this emotional baggage, this fucking Mer I keep saying Merlin. Somebody here, they look just like this wizard on this card literally i feel like somebody fell from grace this could have been this this person had a potential to be a wizard they that they ass is now a warlock they satanic they didn't turn into something else that you don't even recognize and i really feel like that this person is an upside down wizard they're a damn warlock what's the other name for it i don't know <laughs> like they abuse their power they got power but they abuse it literally like they look like the same man and on that card right there What's half truths? They turn dark. It's like they fell from very sad. Yeah, chaos and catfish. Someone's not who they appear to be. Yeah, now we need to talk, bitch. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. No, we don't, man. Somebody here feel this emotional baggage, like this this weight on them. They can't. They they fucked up. <laughs> they fucked up. They got some fake news here. What's the fake news? They could need to talk to you about somebody that's a catfish in their life that, that set them up and shit like that. But they're going to have to tell their part first. And that's the part that they don't want to tell. The part that they played in the situation. That's the part of the, that the bitch don't want to say nothing about. What's fake news? Stable man. They got their shit together. And strong female. Wow. They've been through a lot. Different.
So you could be with a stable man that got that shit together currently. You're your masculine, your actual masculine. And you're you're the strong female that been through a lot or a strong man that been through a lot. So yeah, somebody here, they see the truth now about you. They write they wage all this warfare on you with whomever. And it backfired because now they see you in a different light. They got respect for you now, is what it feel like. They can't do nothing but respect you. It's like, damn, Leo, your your power is extraterrestrial. <laughs> like, how the hell you make it out of this? Yeah, bitch. Tricked ya, didn't I? <laughs> Tricked ya. <laughs> Tricks on you. Jokes on you, bitch. Jokes on you. <laughs> so we got party girl. All right. Okay. Argumentative. Never wrong. So somebody here could be going back and forth with a party girl. Somebody could be arguing with somebody else about, oh my God, she's not a party girl. I thought you said she was a hoe or he was a hoe and they get around and they do da 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 da. You knew I wanted to come back. Look, you turn toxic friends and family. <laughs> they could be arguing with these people. Or arguing with a bitch that they with. They could be with a party girl. They arguing back and forth with this bitch. They, they, they hate it there. They want to come back home, which is you. Divine. <laughs> they want to come back to you. They like, oh my God. Uh, you know. Yeah, grass looks greener, but it's artificial. And they broke. Low on funds. $36. Somebody could be the age 36. <laughs> Ooh, child. What's party girl? So they, they arguing with somebody. This somebody that they with. Somebody here could be pregnant. It's this person that could be pregnant. They argue with this bitch all day. Yeah, lower self. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> was argumentative, never wrong. Stable woman, they have their shit together. Yeah, so if we got stable man over here, they got their shit together. What's argumentative? Stable woman, they never have. They have their shit together. So somebody here is arguing about you. <laughs> or they try to argue with you, Leo. Damn, all that came out. Common contracts. Succubus. Seduces and manipulates men. Child. I feel like there's arguing and shit about you. Break free. Childhood fears. Someone is traumatized by their childhood. And shady female. Yeah, somebody with a shady ass bitch. Or this 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 part this karmic masculine's family somewhere. Their cousins, their mama, their sister, they whoever the fuck this is. But somebody is arguing with a bitch. They arguing with this hoe time and time again. I feel like it's about you. They all in your energy arguing and shit. Arguing like hell about you. Always talking about your ass. Day in, day out. And you done broke free. They would have sucked you this here. Or somebody here said that you was you you a stable woman that got your shit together, but you a shady female. You're a succubus. You're this, you're that, you're a demon. It's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> Well, this I feel like this would yeah this this would happen child man this karmic here put this person under some sort of spell or they work with this person's family to do it and all they can do all they doing is sitting back I feel like they smoking up all this masculine weed just a lazy bum asshole uh, they, that's all they do is smoke weed all day I feel like weed is okay when you get up and get your shit together and have it together but somebody here just somebody here just like ha 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 let me sit back and smoke my blunt and watch all this shit fall apart. <laughs> And they said, I got you now. Commitment forever. And they're energy vampire. This person is draining your energy. They don't even realize that this masculine. Why they sitting over here arguing with you and trying to like hurt you and shit like that. The bitch that they laying up with is the person that they need to be fucking arguing with or, or trying to get away from rather. It's sad. It's somebody here just got, got set up. Switching up. They're switching up on you. This one they switched up. This one they switched up here. Listening to these hoes. What else? So I don't know if this is like a friend to you, your baby daddy, baby mama. That's been coming out a lot, child. <laughs> what else? Somebody here was convinced he was a succubus or you was this, you was that. You're a demon. Boy, bye. Get the fuck out of here. They cry for help. Yeah, somebody just, they just, I don't know. Then we got Capricorn. Yeah, go watch Cappy's reading. Then we got Judgment. Yeah, it's Judgment Day. It's Judgment Day, for sure. It's Judgment Day. What's, uh, what's Judgment? Somebody here could have court. Okay, fake profiles on social media. Somebody here could be getting judgment for making fake profiles of you everywhere. <laughs> okay, they, they weird. They stalkerish. Like, bitch, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we got... 
playing with fire. Someone loves to play with fire. Yeah, not no more. It's in reverse. All they do is watch you from fake profiles. Yeah, money spells standing in my power. <laughs> Somebody shall. What's, what's a cry for help here? Yeah. <laughs> Broke, low on funds. Luck in reverse. Your luck is about to change. Yeah, for the worse. Guarded from past issues. Witch high priestess, red flags, GPS tracking, spiritual narcissist, love spells. That's what they were trying to do to you. I feel like you are a witch, Leo, but you're not a you're not a dark witch. You're a healer. The person that they with is a witch and they damn raggedy, ratchet, low life ass puts funky pussy ass mama is a damn witch. That's what the fuck they need to be looking at. Child, this person here is just slow as fuck. They believe any damn body. Manifesting porn addiction. Uh, <laughs> what's this Capricorn? Because I keep getting Aquarius. This could be Aquarius, Capricorn, and Cusper. What's Capricorn? I mean, that's the devil, too. Yeah, bad deals with the devil. What'd I say? Kitchen Magic Amateur, Family Band. They don't know what they're doing right now. <laughs> I feel like they're trying to reverse some shit. This shit funny. Bad deals. Or they, they got their family to stalk you and watch you to do this shit to you. Now they avoiding you. They covering their face. <laughs> like, child, what the? What's bad deals here? I mean, what's Capricorn with bad deals? Sagittarius? <laughs> they could be a Sag involved. Or that's you. Scream. Goes to extreme for attention. Evil eye. Someone is wishing bad upon you. Yeah, it's this bitch. They made a deal with this damn Capricorn. It could be a Sagittarius Capricorn cusper. Or they working with or whoever. Walking away from a situation. And then we got, yeah, Sagittarius. What's the Sagittarius? <laughs> Betrayal, witnessing infidelity. What's Sagittarius? Background checks, it's a no for me. <laughs> I feel like they on and off with a bitch that they with. They don't like this bitch. They want to get away. But I feel like they just keep going back. Because it's they probably under attack. It's this spell work that's backfiring on their stupid ass. <laughs> that's what it is. And whoever else didn't, didn't set this person up. Yeah, narcissist. We got narcissist Virgo. <laughs> Checking bank records. Making amends. Yeah, this person here, they want to make amends, child. Resolving a misunderstanding. They want to fix it. They really do. So, bitch, get the balls, get the balls to fix it then. All that wanting to fix it and not doing it, you're going to be looked at as a hoe forever if you don't make it right. <laughs> but they got a psycho she-devil around them that's on their dick. So, okay, Leo. Mm -mm -mm. Child, please. I, I cannot with this. <laughs> this is your reading, though. <laughs> your reading i hope it resonated very very straight to the point it wasn't that long so all we needed was this okay so like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings and i'll talk to you guys later bye i just saw 828 on the timer go look up those numbers and see what they mean for your journey see you later leo